The Last Suspect Hunters National is next. This is a 0 to 110 over four miles and three furlongs. Top one is Camp House for B. Fotheringham, Sheila Citron for Darren Thompson, Kentish Craig Beckwith, Last Suspect for Graham Clutterbuck, Algerman Prejudice for James Shea, Nathramont Castle, Vinnie Gerard, Charlie T, Thomas Rogers, Sonic the Dream, James Shea, Altona, Dan Hughes, Blue Penny for Martin Needham, Da Vinci, Paul Rhodes, No More Heaven, Paul Rhodes, and Taya Cobra for B. Fotheringham. So 13 then. In the Hunters National, and away they go. They make their way towards the first, and all safely over the first this time. They've got 25 more to take, so plenty of jumping to be done this time. Once they get to the second, and over it, they all go, and they're all safely over that one with Ogreman Prejudice. Settling down in the lead, Natramont Castle in second and Kentish third. Then a gap back to Taya Cobra, who is fourth. And Sonic to Dream and Da Vinci with Blue Penny after that one. The only grey in the field is Altona. And making their way towards the next end. They've got four miles left to race. This is the third of the 26. All nicely over that one with Ogo and Prejudice going nicely in front. And Natural Mont Castle in second. They're going a nice, sensible, steady, married man's gallop. With Kentish in third and Taya Cobra in fourth. Then Da Vinci and Sonic to Dream. Charlie Two's after that one. And Last Suspect. And Blue Penny as they get over the fourth. Camp House and No More Heaven. Just the current back two. A long way to go. I think there's four circuits of the track in this. As they get to the fifth. Oh, safely over that one. And we get a worm's eye view of them passing the winning post. And we have indeed got three more circuits to. I was going to say in dual then, but I really shouldn't say that, should I? It's Oakham and Prejudice in the lead from Kentish in second. Natural Mont Castle is third, then Da Vinci is fourth. Then Taya Cobra and Sonic to Dream and Last Suspect and Charlie too. And then Shooter Citron and Blue Penny Altona. No more heaven and finally Camp Hess. And to the sixth. I'll also be over that one, the Blue Penny was untidy. Is now last. Ogo and Prejudice is still in the lead. From Kentish. And Natalia Mont Castle. And da Vinci and Sonic the Dream. Charlie 2 is after that one. A lot of green coloured silk. Oh, was a fall there. Natural Mont Castle has gone. So, Natural Mont Castle. The jockey had no chance. And Exits the side door. Ogo and Prejudice leads into the eighth. They're all over that one. With the lead staying the same. Kentish is in second. Da Vinci's moved into the third on the outside as they take the ninth. And over that one they all go. Blue Penny still the back marker. But Ogo and Prejudice and Kentish three lengths clear of Da Vinci Charlie two down on this side on the rail Sonic the Dream on that one's outside and then chasing Da Vinci is his stable mate no more heaven and a bit of a gap to Last Suspect and Tyco with the first of the two in the pink then Camp House Shooter Citron has got the inside the grey Altona on the outside and Blue Penny the back marker as the leader gives that one an almighty wallop and nearly paid the price has paid the price of losing the lead to Kentish. So Kentish now leads by Nick to Ogerman Prejudice in second. A big line of them with a share of third. As they come to the 11th, and Ogerman Prejudice took that one much better. The one that made a mistake this time was Tyre Koba. I think from memory was the first one to fall in the Grand National last week, so much lower company this week. Down to the 12th. And over that one they go. We have Kentish and Ogre and Prejudice disputing the lead. That one they've just jumped will be the last in two circuits time. 
and we're going to go around over twice yet. And it's Kentish that just about leads Mergham and Prejudice in second. Gap then to No More Heaven and Da Vinci, the two Paul Road stable mates who are both continuing to run wide on the trap. Then three down on this near side, Sonic to Dream, Charlie 2. But it's just two of them, the other one's a loose horse. That's not to Ramon Castle. And there's a bit of a gap then to Last Suspect and Altona the Great. And then Sheila Citron, Taya Cobra, and finally Blue Penny as they get over number 13. And Da Vinci's gone there. Da Vinci has got rid of the jockey at that one. Unseated the rider. Just obscured from view. And we've lost two now. And Ogre and Prejudice and Kentis. Kentish. <laughs> Even. <laughs> Disputing the lead from No More Heaven back in third as they come to this ditch. I don't want to go Ogre and Prejudice a bit slow again there. Kentish is about half a length up, but Hogan Prejudice is being driven back up alongside as they get to the 15th. And over the 15th they go, and they all took that one okay with Blue Penny still the back marker. Kentish and Hogan Prejudice still disputing the lead. Oh, no more heaven is third racing on its own now after the departure of its stable mate. And towards the back, the two in pink, Tayakoba and Pink and Camp House with Blue Penny at the back three. Still got over a circuit to go. And Kentish and Ogerman Prejudice still disputing the lead. No more heaven still continuing to run wide on the track. Charlie 2 down on this near rail. Sonic to dream on that one's outside. Then a three length gap back to Last Suspect and Altona. Sheila Citron getting a little bit closer as they come to the 17th. And they're all safely over that one as well. Probably start racing once they go past the wooden post, and then they'll race in earnest for the final circuit. And Ogre and Prejudice just poking his head back in front again. These two have had it between them all the way so far. Ogre and Prejudice and Kentish as they get over that one. And one or two slow jumps in the pack. Blue Penny back to last. Camp House is making significant progress. They're top weight. But it's Ogerman, Prejudice and Kentish over this one. It'll be the last next time round. And the field is definitely beginning to bunch as they pass the post then with one more circuit to go in this Hunter's Grand National. And it's Kentish and Ogerman, Prejudice disputing the lead. Gap of five or six lengths then to Charlie Two's third. Sonic to Dream is four. No More Heaven is five. Then Last Suspect six and Camp House seven. Then the Grey Altona is eight. And then Sheila Sitter on the inside is nine. And then Taya Cobra and finally Blue Penny with the two of them out of the race, Da Vinci and Naturelmont Castle, but they're racing now towards the final mile in this one, and it's Ogerman, Prejudice and Kentish, who are still six lengths clear of Charlie 2 and Sonic to Dream as they come down to it, over it they go, all safely over that one again, with Ogerman, Prejudice and Kentish, the one that's really starting to struggle is No More Heaven, that's dropping back considerably and driven into this next one then now is Ogerman Prejudice. Ogerman Prejudice comes into the 21st fence being driven along Kentish. Ducky just takes a bit of a tug on that one. Gap back to Charlie 2 in third. Camp House continues to make ground in fourth. Then Sonic to Dream. This is a ditch. Over it they go. And they're all safely over that one. It's Ogerman Prejudice and Kentish still clear of Charlie 2. Camp House. Now Sonic to Dream starts to make a forward move. They get over the 22nd. And a mistake there by Charlie 2. As one or two of these now starting to make a move from the back. Altona's trying to come through. So too's Tayakoba. But Ogerman Prejudice is a length clear coming into the 23rd. Over it he goes. Makes a really bad mistake though. Kentish jumps up alongside. Now into third. Sonic to Dream. Then Charlie 2. Last suspect is making really good ground. They've only got three more fences to take and it's Ogerman Prejudice still in the lead Ogerman Prejudice from Sonic to Dream and Kentish then Charlie 2 last suspect Taya Cobra Altona and Camp House are trying to run on so too's Blue Penny as they're racing out towards the final three fences and Ogerman Prejudice is about to be collared by Charlie 2 and Sonic to Dream Charlie 2 on the outside comes to take it up and as they come to the third last Charlie 2 gets over the lead gets away from it well Ogerman Prejudice back in second Kentish trying to run again in third then comes the Grey Altona, still two to take, and Charlie Two has suddenly gone four, five lengths clear. Charlie Two racing down towards the second last fence with a clear lead of about 
six lengths now then, comes to the second last, gets over it nicely, gets away from it well, Altona jumps it well in second and is making ground, and they're racing down towards the final furlong on the final fence, and a short run in a jockey on Charlie too, has a look round to see where the rest of them are, and he doesn't think they're close enough to catch him, if he jumps the last he wins it, and he pops over it nicely and he races up towards the final half furlong, and up towards the line it's going to be a win for Charlie too, Charlie too is going to take it, Taya Koba is going to be second, last suspect third, then Sonic to Drew and Altona and Kentish Ogerman prejudice Blue Penny Camp has no more heaven and finally Sheila Citron at the back and Charlie too took that one pretty cosily must have won it by a good six lengths from Taya Cobra who ran on really nicely in second let's get a full list then and Charlie to the winner for Thomas Rogers, Tyre Cobra for B. Fotheringham was second. Last suspect for Grand Clutterbuck third, couldn't win its own race. Last suspect, Sonic to Dream for James Shea was fourth and Altona for Dan Hughes was fifth.